No, so this is this is this is the the boost the the, the boosted uh, stream stuff. This is it right now. So I'll I'll, I'll kind of show you guys what I've done here. Uh, this was on November second when the Twitch paid boost test started. You can see here average convert uh, concurrent viewers. This is the total number of followers they gained over the past thirty days. These are the views they gained over the past thirty days. This is the peak viewership they had. Uh, during those 30 days, our stream during those 30 days, and the total number of followers that they have on their account, and whether or not they're a Twitch partner. So this was from October 2nd to November 2nd. This was their stats. And the idea being, if I compared their previous stats to their current stats, based upon when they had the 30-day the period where they had the paid boost function, would we see dramatic increases in the amount of, of, of people who are watching, the amount of followers, the amount of viewers, the amount of, 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 of hours streamed, would we see a significant increase in all of these various things? Because ultimately, that's the test, right? If you are doing a test of a paid function to boost people to the front page, the idea being, hey, this is actually so good that people are going to want to pay for this. And the 30 days later, these were the numbers tracked it all. There's going to be some here that are blank. These people didn't stream over the last 30 days. So they were part of this program and they just did not stream. Here are the numbers and how it looks. I've taken a look at all of the various categories here and you can see uh, that uh, green means that it went up, red means that it went down. So uh, average concurrent viewers was down. Down, this is no change. Uh, here's somebody who had no change in CCV, but didn't have as many followers this month. Didn't have a, a, as many, uh, total views of their channel. Looks like yellow. It might be yellow, but anyways, for me, it's green because I'm colorblind. So it is what it is. <laughs> uh, you see a lot of people here with all reds, meaning that all performance indicators were down every single one. Uh, there's another one. There's another one. This one only had an increase in followers by 35%. Uh, this, this one had all green. So this person had some success with it. Again, if you look back here, a lot of these people have very low view counts in terms of how many people currently watch them. And as you get lower on here, they start to trend a little bit higher, which did actually have seem to have an impact. Now, I am of the mindset that if you are a growing streamer, the chances of continuing to grow are significant. If you, if, if you already have an audience of people watching, the chances are more people are going to watch your stream. It's just kind of how Twitch works. It's why sorting high to low actually results in the top staying at the top. Generally speaking, generally speaking, you would want to see positives overall. You want to see some kind of trend towards the positive uh, if you are doing a paid feature. You want to see a clear improvement. Uh, so here it is, 48 streamers lost, had, had a lower concurrent viewers, 51 had a higher concurrent viewers, <laughs> so relatively no change there. 18, there was no change, and 7 of them did not stream, that's why I wrote them as quit. In terms of followers gained, 59% had less followers while having the boost than when they didn't have the boost in the previous month. 52 did in increase the amount of, of people that followed them while they had the boost. Six had no change. If the v I personally believe that the view count probably is the most direct uh, uh, ability to find a, a true impact because it's a very, very low level to actually achieve. If somebody visits your stream for one second or five seconds, I'm not sure what the, I think it's just visiting your channel. If they visit your channel for, for uh, uh, they, they count as a view on your channel. Any single time your page is loaded, that is a view that is considered for your channel. So while CCV is harder to maintain, because I think it's every five minutes, it does a check to see who is currently watching. Follower is obviously a pretty significant barrier. Views are immediate. 60 had less views despite having a paid viewer uh, boost uh, enabled on their stream. 58 had more views than the previous month. So to me, inconclusive. So when you break that down, you can actually take a look. This is kind of another interesting thing that I uh, uh, showed here. This is a victory percentage. How many people had positive outcomes versus negative? 75, 75, 66, because this one had a, a, a no impact. 
100. So that's all increased in green. Uh, when you take the averages of this thing, you get a, a, a total victory percentage of 49.37%. Overall, based on all streamers, going from the previous viewership they had to the current viewership, there was a decrease of 6.73%. Now, again, when you compare this to my control, the actual decrease from uh, month to month was only 1.1%. So this is a, a <laughs> again, it just kind of shows that perhaps there's no impact. This, so this is my belief. There is no impact from the paid boost test. There is no impact. It had no impact. In terms of my data, there was no conclusive evidence to suggest that paid boost had any kind of impact on their stream nothing else to say about that <laughs> if if paid boost ever does get a release you are wasting your money because it's going to have zero impact on your stream according to this and again this is over uh, uh, the entire time frame of the paid boost function so um <laughs> i don't i don't know how else to look at this objectively I don't know how else to consider th this data. Uh, and again, I tried in various ways to look at it to find any kind of positive or not even any kind of positive, any kind of impact, any kind of impact. <laughs> and I couldn't find it. I cannot find any kind of impact that the boost had. It's almost like it didn't happen. But I'm going to put this on Patreon so people can access this and... Uh, it, if you want to dig through the, the stats directly or, or or figure out any kind of additional information that you want to extrapolate from it, I'll put it on Patreon. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click like, click subscribe up there, and then watch this video. What else you got to do? You're on YouTube anyways. You might as well watch something else. It's right there.